Greetings, Zero here. Welcome to a new mod type series. This time in the Canto Complete ROM hack for Fire Red version. On the assistance of somebody on one of the servers in Discord that I'm in, we're doing fire types this time, but with a twist. You see, this hack increases the odds of shiny encounters by a lot. In my test run of this, I encountered 34 different species of shiny Pokemon, some several times, before I got to Mount Moon. For that reason alone, this is going to be a shiny only fire monotype run. The rules are going to be in the video description because I don't want this part of the video to be 10 minutes long, so anyway, let's begin. Okay, so the intro is a little truncated, as you can tell. This is for people who have played the game before, for sure. Anyway, we are going to be called... Hmm. Okay, you know what? We're going to go with Theo. It's a bit of an obscure reference, but if you know, you know. Alright. So, first things first, you go to the PC. Now, as you can see, you can access Bill's PC from here. But, of course, you got no Pokemon, just missing no. Don't fuck with that. Instead, let's get the potion. Or rather, 25 potions. This is suspicious. <laughs> if a hack is that generous at the very start, you know you're probably in for a bad time. Just a uh, pro tip right there. Anyways, let's go and head on outside. Okay, so we start things off as usual. We go up north. And Professor Oak walks up and says, Hey, don't go out there! Now, unfortunately, because of the truncated start, I couldn't nickname my rival. But to be fair, I probably would have named him something that would have gotten my channel struck if I had the ability. Knowing my sense of humor. Of course, we are going to want a Charmander. So, um, I'm going to need to reset until I get a Shiny. So, uh, this may take a while. Okay, after enough resets, we finally get this. Say hello to Agni, the Shiny female Charmander. He has a hasty nature and, well, hmm. Let me take a look at the stats. Okay, so she's either got perfect IVs or damn close to it. Oh yeah, I like this. We can make this work. And as we leave, of course, the rival decides he wants to show off. But of course, he picked the one that nominally has a type advantage. I don't know if that's going to help you, buddy. Not this time. Of course, we already know how this works. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up, old man. It seems that I am the superior button masher, Blue. You don't have to like it, but accept it. Anyway, we have just won our first Pokemon battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, he's gonna run off, and now we're just gonna head on home to heal real quick before heading back to Mom. And we're all rested up and ready to go. Okay, so now we head north, and you might notice Route 1 looks a lot different. Yeah, this hack does a lot of this kind of thing. At least as far as I can tell. And there's a Pokemon I wasn't expecting to find when I did my test playthrough. But yeah, you can find stuff like Eevee and the Stars here. We're gonna gain a little bit of experience real quick.
All right, I think that'll do for now. Let's go back and heal. Of course, now we go north, and uh, is the clerk here? No, he's further up here. And this is where you get the free potion. Of course, we already have 25, so this is a case of win more. But, of course, we have our first trainer battle on Route 1. The youngster using the Ruby Sapphire Emerald Sprite, and he uses the Chansey. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why. You'll see. Anyways, we knock out Chansey, we got a fuck ton of experience. Level 11. Eh, I guess you could say that. Okay, Mr. DeVito. A lucky egg. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, a lucky egg is a rare item you usually get from catching Wild Chansey that boosts the experience you get in battle. I think we're going to need that. But there's one more thing we can get on this route. Talk to this guy, and you can get an old rod. Well, this is oddly generous. Suspiciously so, in fact. Okay, so let's heal real quick. And now we gotta do two things. Well, it seems that once again, I just can't avoid my true calling. I am, of course, the motherfucking mailman. Oh, and yeah, in towns you'll often have a secondary store like this. In this case, these guys sell Pokeballs. Now, pro tip. Buy Safari Balls. They're basically great balls that cost less than half the price. So, just stock up on those. Uh, we'll buy ten. I think this will do for now. Because we'll be able to catch a couple more Pokémon that are eligible for this monotype on Route 1. But first, let's go and deliver the Pokédex. Or, get our Pokédex, rather. Okay, so now we go and talk to him. We deliver the parcel. You're welcome. And of course, you still get the free Pokeballs, but... Again, Safari Balls are basically just cheaper Great Balls. That would mean in this hack, they are the most efficient Pokeball for the price. But now let's go get ourselves the town map. We're probably never going to need it, but eh, might as well. Thanks, Daisy! And now we're on Route 1, so it's time to catch myself some more Pokémon. I will cut until I manage to do Now here's our first encounter with a Wild Shiny. Now you're probably gonna call this heresy, but... Fuck it! I guarantee you this isn't gonna be the last Shiny Pidgey I run into. They're that common. They're not- you're not finding them all the time, but they're common enough. Oh, and like the Emerald playthrough, we are we are going to do pickup strats. I'm not using them in battle, so it doesn't break the rules. And here is going to be our second Pokémon. Now the problem is my level is high enough that, uh... Yeah. I'm not sure this is going to go. Hmm. I 
can't risk attacking it. This could be dicey. Come on, just get in the damn ball. I took a risk on using Scratch, but it paid off. Now, what are we going to call you? Hmm. Well, if we're going with a Fire God theme, let me take a look. We're going to go with Sfarog. It's a name from Slavic mythology. Anyways, that was one, and now there's one other Pokemon we can get on this route, which is Houndour. Give me a Of course, in the process, we end up getting Agni to the point where it can evolve. I want to switch over to Eevee after this, just so I can keep the levels a bit even. And there's Shiny Charmeleon! So in Fire Red and Leaf Green, unlike Ruby, Sapphire, and Emeralds, for the most part, Pokemon with Pickup usually get berries, but they can also get you stuff like Rare Candy and Power Point Ups. But these berries, you can sell them for a little bit of cash. Well, looks like we might have a shiny HM Slate this time around. Or... And for pickup, too. Okay, that's... I dare not go any further. Or... Oh, guess I'm gonna have to, because you used the berry. Oh, you got all your health back. Okay. Please work. Got it. Okay. Okay, well, you're going to be ZGS1. Alrighty. So, anyways. Well, right Pokemon, but not shiny. Gotta keep looking. There you are! Oh, fuck off! You would do that, you piece of shit! Now, one of my Zigzagoon picked up Hidden Power. Hmm. You know what, let's give that to you. Just as a backup option. We'll see what it is later. Picked up another Hidden Power TM. We'll find out what you yours is later. Now this is tempting! Because I could catch a second one of these and then just never evolve it into Charizard and have a Charmeleon. Hmm, let me think about it. There's something risky with Hidden Power there. And, uh, we're going to call you... We'll go with Kojin, after a uh, Japanese god of, I think it, well, obviously fire, but I think it's also like a cooking god or something, whatever. Alright, now I have a chance to redeem ourselves. Alright, I am not taking any chances this time. Please work. Oh. Okay. That wasn't as hard as I thought. Now... Actually, I know what I'm gonna call you. Uh, let me let me check the spell. Okay, I changed my night. Oh, nice. You are Garmer after the Hellhound for Norse mythology, and I think this puts us off at a great start so far. Fire type mod types are usually kind of hard to start off because, well, getting fire types early in the game is very difficult in vanilla games. But this one, I've got four Pokemon that are eligible. Yes, it means that this one can't evolve into Charizard, but I can still have two Charmeleon on the team simultaneously, as long as this one evolves. Anyway, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, 
and I will see you all next time.